Good afternoon, everyone. It's been a rough start to the day. This is about the best I've felt thus far. Not a good day for me at all. Waking up at 5.45, not feeling good, not feeling good, mm -mm, not good. Anywho, but she's doing great. She's holding her own. So I'm just going to love on her and love on Hannah, and maybe we can all just share each other's energy and... Right, baby? Mm -hmm. She's such a good girl. Such a good girl. So, anywho, um, today, Saturday, August 28th, your homework assignment is to read Isaiah 61, verses 10 through 62, verses 3. That's a pretty big assignment. Psalms 111. Oh boy, we know what that is in bowling. Oh, 111. Oh, brother. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord, for he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. Isaiah, Isaiah 61, 10. Today's title is A Christian's Clothing. In today's reading, Isaiah focuses on the essential garments with which we need to be clothed. We can truly rejoice in the Lord knowing that he has clothed us with the garments of salvation through our baptism into Christ and our trusting faith in him. I got baptized in the ocean here. It was amazing. Bowsers. On Calvary's cross, our sin-stained garments were exchanged for the robe of Christ's righteousness, which covers over all of our guilty stains. Having been freed from the curse of sin and the burden of guilt, we are empowered by Christ to live a life that is pleasing to God. Hi, baby. And will bring glory to his name. Through our gospel words and loving actions, the Holy Spirit leads people to receive by faith and then proudly wear the robe of Christ's righteousness. Just as Isaiah couldn't keep silent about his life-saving and life-changing message. Isaiah 62, 1. So we must not keep quiet about it either. Sanctifying our lives through faith in Christ, the Holy Spirit has prepared us to live in ways that let our neighbors and the world know that true righteousness and eternal salvation can be found in Christ of them. Absolutely. Lord Jesus, I praise you for the gifts of your righteousness and salvation. Embolden me to share your priceless treasures with others. How perfect. Treasures. Name the house Helen's treasures. She is a treasure. And a grace is a treasure. We're all treasures in this world. Your priceless treasures with others. I love that. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hope you guys enjoy your weekend. I'm going to love on my babies. I have a chef that's been staying with me. And he's going to get back from the market and make me lunch. So, that is a gift. And a reward, bar none, that I will gladly accept and be completely grateful and thankful for. What are you going to be thankful and grateful for today? My Hannah Grace was with us. She just decided to be on her roost. So there she is, chewing on her rope. My whole house is <laughs> for Princess Harley so she can get around easier. So. Everything's in disarray, but we don't care because it's all about her. So we hope you enjoyed our video and you have a great day. Bye.